Hi, my name is Gareth and I'm from Elizabeth College in Hobart. And today we're with Christy from Giant Margarita. Let's go have a chat. What's your role here in Giant Margarita? Here at Giant Margarita, I'm the producer. So basically that can mean some days I am writing grants to get us some money. I'm running a Kickstarter to get us some funding, interacting with government. Um, I'm putting together project plans, talking to the guys about uh, the schedules for getting our games out. A whole range of different things are involved in games production. Tell me about Giant Margarita. Giant Margarita is a local Hobart games development organisation that we created about three years ago. It's built from a whole range of, well, six people who are actually very interested in looking at games development, both for the opportunity to create entertainment games like Save the Teenies and Party Golf, but we also do quite a lot of work uh, developing games for change or what are called serious games, which are about trying to get people to change their behaviour through the way that they play games. So. Giant Margarita has kind of a dual focus. Some of them are creating fun things to, for people to play on their couch, which is what we spend a lot of time doing. And sometimes it's also about creating things that will help people either in education or in health or energy conservation, a whole range of different areas. What's your favourite part in working in the game industry? There are so many good things about working in this industry. In Hobart, Tasmania particularly, we have the most supportive and amazing community of games developers. We have about over 200 members in our Tasmanian Games Development Society alone, and this ranges from students, people professionally working in this area, people for gov from government who are trying to figure out how they can help us. There is so much support, it's really, really fantastic. So definitely the people. Every single day you're creating something or you're changing people's lives in some interesting way and uh, it never looks the same twice. What are some of the opportunities in the industry that people don't realise? People don't tend to realise that you can do games development in Tasmania. Lots of people think that if you want to do this you either have to go to the mainland or in fact you have to go overseas and that's absolutely not the case anymore. I think most people don't understand firstly that you can do this kind of stuff in Tasmania because it hasn't been around that long so we're really promoting that heavily. Um, and the second thing is that there are some really big people in the Tasmanian market that are actually from international companies that are available for, for interesting feedback as well. Who is suited to something like this? You can be a really strong technical developer. You can have really strong artistic and creative skills because every game needs that. You can have a really strong interest in journalism because a lot of the games have really strong narrative and tell really great stories. People can be musicians because most games actually have those as well. And you can be somebody like me who's interested in the kind of business and psychology side to figure out how to put games together and manage the process of games development and how to change people's behaviour because of games. So I can't find a single person who wouldn't actually be suited to this kind of industry. For someone wanting to get into the game industry, what pathway should they be looking at? In Tasmania, the first thing I'd suggest you do is join the Tasmanian Games Development Society. This will expose you to who in Tasmania is doing these kinds of things. And importantly, it'll show you the different kinds of skills and roles that people have. So you get really familiar with what you're good at and what role you can play. That's a really, really important place to start, I would think. That then, and probably using um, the resources offered by a whole range of different kinds of areas. There's Code Club in Tasmania. If people are interested in the more technical side, the university offers degrees and majors in games design and games development as well, as does a whole range of other areas. So learning about things online is a great place to start, but also joining the online communities and our face-to-face -face community is possibly the two things I would suggest people start with. Thanks, Christy. This has been great to get an insight on the gaming industry. Hopefully this gives a lot of students a better idea of what to expect.